I was very interested to hear that you were doing a series of talks or discussions about science and Buddhism. And I wondered if you could tell me a little bit about it or tell us a little bit about it. It was a, uh, <clears throat> maybe a, a weekly series of talks for two or three months uh, that was looking to find what the differences and what the commonalities and what the objectives are of science and Buddhism. Um, both of them in some sense are reaching for reality and also grounded in truth. And uh, so this question of are they different, are they same, how do they differ? Is Buddhism a religion? Uh, should it really be, is it an opposition to science in some sense? And that went on into a variety of subtopics. And after that it um, migrated now to a discussion called Beyond Science and Buddhism. Well, so we're looking to... <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like progress. <laughs> were you influenced at all by... When I started to study Buddhism, I was influenced by uh, Fritjof Capra, the Tao, the physics. Tao of physics. Yeah, and, yeah, and the, the quantum mechanics as a sort of the closest approximation to... Science's closest approximation to reality is one characterization of what things really are uh, is known to be, it still comes up short. Yes. It's not determinism reality. is dead. There's no <laughs> such thing as determinism yeah. anymore. And there's also that aspect that even in physics, everything is dependent on everything else. If you write an equation for one thing, it really extends to, uh, its behavior extends and is influenced by everything else in the universe. Wow. Now, can anybody come to these discussions? Is yeah, it open to the public? Totally open, and everyone is uh, welcome. And the next topic is <coughs> mathematics and Islam. But we're trying to look at, to go beyond Buddhism to look at uh, the varieties of religion, major, the world's great religions. And now, where does mathematics come in? See, I would find that a bit scary. I was going to come to that top, but uh -huh. mathematics, an awful lot of people don't think they understand that at all. How, how would a person like me with no math in their brain, how would they be able to join in a discussion? With? Well, it's really not mathematics. It's the philosophy of mathematics that we're looking at. And also, uh, mathematics starts with the notion of truth, of truth and how do you prove anything? How do you really know? And how can you really determine anything? <clears throat> it's not only everything that we can uh, think about and manipulate in our mind. The objects in our mind is a symbolic understanding that we oh. have in our mind, as opposed to the real knowledge that we have in our mind is very, very key in this discussion. Well, I think even someone like me with you know, a kind of a fear of math. I actually, so that sounds really, really interesting. Yeah, you may have, you may find that your intu intuition is much, much superior or yeah, beyond. My knowledge was never very good. <laughs> 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 but that sounds wonderful. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. let me get it right. So, the last Sunday of the month, two to four. Yes. Jikoji Retreat Center. Yes. <laughs> with Cliff Iceberg.